Hey, this is Eric from Cafe Watercolor. Welcome to this week's Tips Tuesday. Last week, we talked about how artists use visual language to paint a loose painting. Now, just like a spoken language, we learn visual language by copying other artists. I have three little kids. All of them learn how to speak the same way by listening to us and repeating what we said. My native tongue is Mandarin, so that's the first language we introduce to them. They learn it by listening to us speak when we read books to them and watching TV. Later on, when they start going to school, they learn English very, very fast. Again, by mimicking the sound others made and put those in their own sentences. So the same thing applies when it comes to painting with visual language. Now. The most direct way is to do a direct copy of another artist's work. I do that when I was in art school. Doing a master copy is a very typical way to learn, as long as you give the credit to the original creator of the painting, and if in doubt, and if the artist is still alive, ask the person for permission. And you should never, ever sell your master copy for money. I kind of feel obligated to say those for other artists out there. Anyways, master copy is a good way to learn, but there is another way to steal their visual language. Now that doesn't sound nice, but that comes from the quote maybe from Picasso: "Good artists copy, great artists steal." Again, I dedicated this topic on my watercolor essential course. But to give you a general idea, what I do is to find my own subject, let's say a street scenery, and then I start looking at the artists I want to learn from and see if they have painted a similar subject. Of course, street scenery is a very typical subject, but I will find something that's very close to the subject I found. From lighting, composition to the big shape, and if I do find such a painting, I will pretend the artist is painted from my subject. This allows me to get behind the mind of the artist, see the decisions they made, and then incorporate these in my own painting. Let me give you a quick example. I took this photo in Vancouver back in 2018. I saw this is a great subject and can make it into a good painting. After I came home, I started looking at an artist who's known for painting a westry scenery, and you guessed it. Joseph Bukovich. I look around and found this painting. I compare that to the photo I took. Even though it is not exactly the same, it is very darn close. So I crop his painting to match closer to my photo, and I took some of the elements in his painting into my own. And this is my painting. Now. Is it a copy of his painting? No, the subject is from me and not the subject he's painting. But I stole quite a bit of his visual language in my own painting. So there you have it, my dirty little secret of learning visual language from other master. If you do this, you will learn visual language very fast. However, this is just part of the process. Eventually, you will want to start to evolve and develop your own visual language. And if you have been following my work for some time, you know that this is something that I am doing right now. I will share more about my process in the future. Well, that's it for this week's Tip Tuesday. If you find this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. For more watercolor tips, be sure to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon. I'm Eric from Cafe Watercolor. See you next time.